Hey, Coach Joss here for another 10 minute video. Today is another upper body mobility. Um, for equipment, you're gonna want either a tennis ball, which this is gonna be a lot more friendly, or if you have a lacrosse ball, then that's also great too. Tennis ball is a little cheaper. Um, so, main thing with this, just make sure that you are cleared from a doctor before we do it. I'm always gonna repeat myself on that because it is so important. Um, but if you love these videos, also remember to like and subscribe so that you're notified when any of these come out. Let's get started. I'm going to start the timer and we'll get straight into it. So this first one is going to be ball in your trap. For all of these, you can use a wall so that it's not as intense. Um, for viewing purposes, we're going to be doing it on the ground today. So stick it right behind your trap. And all I want you to do is kind of shimmy your shoulders side to side. If that feels too intense, you're just going to sit here and breathe. This actually feels like it's a thumb going into my trap right now, and it can sometimes even recreate a little bit of um, <sighs> headaches. <laughs> so if you're feeling that, you need to actually just be doing this a little bit more because you probably got some knots in there. So a couple more deep breaths here, and then we are going to switch to the other side. <sighs> If you want to make this more intense, which I personally cannot right now, but you can either use the lacrosse ball or you can even lift your hips up. Again, if ground is too intense, you're gonna do the same thing on the wall. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now I'm just putting it on my right side. I know you're not gonna be able to see this, but just let it sit there, or you can try shimming. Again, it's only about an inch to a half an inch of motion, and maybe we're just sitting and breathing, which is what I'm gonna be doing right now because it's pretty intense. If you feel like you can, you can try to move your arm up and down. Um, we will be doing this again, so I'll try to move my arm at that point. What I mean by that, I'm gonna show you the hand that doesn't have the ball behind it, you can move it up and down like you are making snow angels in the snow. Or you can even go goalpost arm up and down while that ball is behind your trap. It's a little nicer to do that while it's on the wall so you don't have as much weight going into the ball. Great, so let's go ahead and lift that up. This one's also really intense. So again, bear with me. This one, I should intro it as a really intense one. You can also do this with a um, foam roller as well. So we're going to take that tennis ball. You're gonna lie on your side. Most likely try to take a lot of tension off. You can hold your head if you want and put the other hand down so that we have enough space and not as much pressure on the ball. So again, lots of movement is gonna probably feel pretty painful. I'm taking a lot of weight off with this elbow but I'm also doing a lot with this right arm. So I'm not gonna move too much, but what I want you to do is kind of let your chest drop and then try to roll up towards the ceiling a little bit. Again, little, little motion. Go ahead and now move it up a little bit. So a little closer to the armpit and I'm gonna rock back a little, rock forward, rock back. If you can, you can drop the hand straight as long as it feels okay for your head. Good, rocking back and forth. Keep breathing, it's intense. Okay, and we're gonna go one more spot. Now moving it very, very close. It's kind of almost, not in the armpit, but it's right behind your armpit, so right in that scapula. So again, like I said earlier, this is gonna be, um, I just moved my bottom leg up too. It's gonna be a lot less intense on the wall. So imagine that I'm doing this, but I'm on a wall. <laughs> instead. Good. And this one you can kind of rock back and forth. Whoo! Hit a spot. Or up and down. All right. Enough of that side. Let's go to the other. Good. This is killing my dog because I stole her ball and she's nausea and very obsessed with this. So we're going to go other side. Same thing now. We're going to go right into that lat. Whoo! Yeah. Okay. So not gonna get much motion. I'm more gonna sit on this right now. <sighs> Good and deep breaths while you're on this. If you find a spot, I just need you to sit on it. Good. And if you can, try rocking forward a little and then back. <laughs> I'm getting glares from the dog. 
Oh, good. If you don't, if you can't move, like I said, go to the wall or just sit on this. All right, we're moving that ball up a little bit. Very good, and if you can, try to move that arm a little bit higher. Very good. And again, you can just sit on this. Doesn't have to be a huge motion at all. We're just trying to put a little bit of pressure into that, and if this is too painful, like I said, wall and modify. I never want something to feel too, too intense for you guys. Let's move it to that very last spot. So now we're right under that armpit, but a little bit behind. So it's not in the armpits, right behind. This one is probably best against the wall. <laughs> so unless you have a really, really squishy tennis ball. Awesome, hanging out a little bit longer. Take one deep breath here. Good, and let's come out of it. Awesome. Let's take a little break from the ball and we're gonna go into downward dog here. Shoot your hips up. Honestly, that already feels really good. I'm gonna alternate my heels while breathing out. So take a nice deep breath in when you're in plank, push the heel down and push your chest through. Take nice deep breath in and plank and push the heel down. Nice deep breath in, push opposite heel down. Awesome, couple more. Breath in, chest through, breathe out, heel down. One more, breath in, chest through, breathe out, drop that heel. Good, okay, back to the torture again. <laughs> All right, before the torture begins, we're gonna start lying on your side. You're gonna take a nice deep breath in, breathe out and twist. Good, you can hold the knees down. The main thing is while I'm doing this, I could just reach my arm back. I want you to move your entire trunk as you're breathing out. Two more on this side and we'll do the other. Nice deep breath in, breathe out and twist. Good. Notice my whole trunk is following. All right, one more time on this side. Breath in. Fill all the way up. Good, I let that breath out. So one more deep breath in. And now breathe out. All the way, twisting. Come back. Let's go other side. All right. So nice deep breath in and twist open. Good, I'm gonna hold my knees down. Very good. Breath in and breathe all the way out. Good, you can put a little bend in the elbow as you're breathing out. One more time, nice deep breath in and all the way out. Awesome. A little bit nicer. I didn't quite relax my head all the way. Just make sure when you're going through it, always try to relax the head. And if that means that you are using a yoga block or a foam roller to put your head on, even a pillow, that works perfectly well too. Back to the torture device. So we're gonna go on our traps. I'm gonna start with my right side this time. So bring that ball right behind, if you can, you can actually roll back onto it so we get a little bit lower on the trap instead of on that upper trap. So you can even start by placing it instead. Good, and honestly, this feels a little bit nicer than that upper trap. The upper trap can hold so much tension. What you're also gonna do is bring that arm over. You can support your head. And what that's gonna do is move the scapula out of the way. So maybe we're moving up and down. It's kind of riding along the scapula too, or maybe we're just sitting on it. A great one for the wall too. I actually prefer the wall for most of these. Because I climb, a lot of these muscles get so tight and I honestly feel like I don't give enough love to them. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's go other side. I'm gonna flip around. Good, go ahead and place that guy. Awesome. Support the head, hug, 
and either sit or kind of rock side to side or a little bit of arching and pressing. And that is gonna give you enough motion. You'll feel it. Good. Give me two deep breaths and then we'll end with a child's pose. Good, breathe out. One more deep breath in and breathe out. Good. All right, twirl around. Go nice and wide with those knees. Walk the hands or slide them out. Oh yeah, that feels good. My other favorite one is puppy dog pose where the knees are stacked under the hips and you're pressing your head and chest through. Give me one deep breath here, in, and let it out. Oh, very good. If you want to hang out longer there, you are welcome to. Okay, but my shoulders feel really good right now. You can typically hang out longer again on the wall. Um, um, otherwise, I hope you left with feeling like you have a little bit looser shoulders.